Alright, these are the top 5 hardest Souls bosses. This list was really hard to make because I wasn't really too sure who to put on this list, but I think I've got my answers. And also, this list is based on if I was to play these games all over again, which bosses would I have the most trouble with? Number 5, Pontiff Sullivan. This one might be surprising because Pontiff Sullivan is at the halfway point of Dark Souls 3, but I have a lot of trouble with a lot of his moves. He has really long combos and I had trouble dealing with his clone in second phase. Number 4, Sister Freed and Father Arendiel. This fight isn't so bad, especially the first and second phase, but when Black Flame Free comes out in phase 3, I lose all control of this fight. She's really hard hitting and she has really long combos and doesn't let up. Number 3, Isheen, the Sword Sane. I thought this boss fight wouldn't be so bad the first time I started, but I was so wrong. He has so many moves and it almost seems impossible to be able to memorize them all so that he can dodge and counter attack. Especially when he brings out his spear in second phase and the third phase, it just seems that he has an endless supply of abilities and the fight is just so long and it drags out. Number 2, Orphan of Koz. This fight is sort of similar to Sword Saint Ishin in that it drags on a lot and Sister Free to some degree, but this is one of the most unpredictable boss fights I've ever had. I don't know how you're supposed to memorize his movesets because they seem so random and even if you do memorize them, you just don't know what he's going to do and when he's going to do it. In second phase, he's just all over the place and good luck if you're fighting him. Number 1. Dark Eater Medea. This fight is number one on this list because you have to be so precise with your dodging. If you're just a little bit off, it could be fatal. Especially in second phase, he has this attack that can literally one-shot you. And that's one of the reasons why he's number one on this list. But also, in second phase, it's really hard to hit him. He's just all over the place. You know, he's, he's running around and it's really hard to get a hold of him. This fight is just one of the hardest you'll ever have in any Souls game, in my opinion, and that's about it.